do fishermen have an ego? And if you do have an ego, does it help you or hurt you catch fish? Good morning, everybody. January 27. January 27, just about to use up another month. Our verse is going to be from Psalm, Psalm 108, 13. 108, 13. It's a short one, but it's a great one. We can win with God's help. What can we win? We win it all. We win it all. We are the champions. We win it all. We can win with God's help. Ego is a great stumbling block for most of us. It can hurt us in our attempts to catch fish. That's right. Our ego can actually hurt us in our attempts to catch fish. And it can impede just about anything else that we're trying to accomplish. You hear what I said right there? Doesn't matter what you're doing. If you let your ego get in the way, it's probably going to impede whatever you're trying to accomplish. Doesn't matter what that is be raising kids could be uh, trying to get a, a, a promotion on your job could be trying to run a successful marriage your ego can impede whatever you're trying to accomplish that ego inside of us just presses on to make us want to do everything and to do it all on our own that's not God's way you hear me that is not God's way for us to want to do it all and do it on our own God wants to help. In fact, He even insists on helping. That's right. God wants to help us. The children of Israel succeeded at every turn when they depended on God's help. But they failed miserably when they acted on their own without God's help. Even with these examples that we have in the Bible, example after example after example, we still try to do things our way and we only call on God when we fail, right? We just do it our way, we do it our way, and then when we mess it up, when we screw it up, when we fail, then we turn to God. Oh, dear Lord, I got a problem. I made this problem, but I got a problem. I need your help. I need you to come in here and bail me out. You know the great thing about it? The God we serve? <laughs> he knows how we are. He knows us better than we know us. And even when we mess up, in spite of our messes up, in spite of our egos, in spite of leaving God out many times, He'll come in and bail us out. He'll come in and help us. He'll come in and save us from defeat and lead us to victory. Here's the deal I want you to remember from this whole deal. Why not call on God first? That's right. Why not call on God first? What does God want to help us with? Everything. That's it. He wants to help us with everything from the smallest part of our lives to the most important. God wants us to help, wants to help us with everything from the smallest, most insignificant part of our lives to the most important things that we ever do. God wants to be a part of it. God wants to help us with that. You know, I talk often about honoring God. You know how you honor God? You honor God by making him a part of everything you're doing. I talk also about putting God first in your life. How do you put God first in your life? You involve Him in everything that you do. You involve Him in your business deals. You involve Him in your relationships. You involve Him in every single thing you can do. You talk to Him. You pray often. You study His Word. You get that close, personal, working relationship with God. It's a working relationship, but you know who's doing the work? God's doing the work. That's right. He wants to do it. He wants to do it. What a helper we have in the Savior that we trust. Here's our tip for this week. It's a really good one right here. A 10-inch or 11-inch worm works well in lakes with a lot of grass. Lakes that have a lot of grass seem to have a lot of small snakes. <laughs> and that's what a 10 or 11-inch worm kind of really is. It's a small snake, a snatrix. A small snakes and um, and that big worm seems to work well in lakes that has got a lot of grass especially lakes that has got good quality fish in them most of our lakes that have a lot of grass lakes like Sam Rayburn Toledo Bend 
Guntersville, this lake here of mine, Twin Eagle, it's got a lot of grass, it's got a lot of quality bass. Lakes that have grass have quality bass. Don't hesitate, even in the hottest of the summer when a lot of people are using little bitty tiny jigs and worms, two or three inch worms, don't hesitate to put you on a 10 or 11 inch worm. And I'm telling you, you will be surprised and amazed and thrilled with the size of the bass that you catch. Big worms, late summer, late spring, early summer, well really all summer long, big worms in the grass produce big bass. Take that one to the bank also. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you.